Hey everybody, I'm back again to talk about Demon Hunter. Um, all of the Whizbang Workshop Demon Hunter cards are shown right now. I'd like to review some of them and go over some of the good and the bad and the maybe not so great. Um, but I'm excited for what Demon Hunter could potentially be. Um, whether this is, like I said, good or bad, we don't know yet. Um, we saw all these cards. I think there's some potential here. Um, and anything is better right now because if we look at the win rates for Demon Hunter, it's been a while since Demon Hunter has been dominant at all. Um, since before, you know, right around Outcast was the only thing that's really popped off in the past couple of months. And we haven't seen it ever since. Um, Okay, let's just talk about it. Don't forget, there's a giveaway for a Whizbangs Workshop um, bundle, and I'll link it in the description below. You know the drill. Um, let's go over the first card. The first card is 8-mana uh, 12-12 Mech and Demon Magtheridon Unreleased. Uh, dormant for two turns. While dormant, deal three damage to all enemies at the end of your turn. I love this card. I think this card is busted um, in a good way. I think this card has so much potential, um, and I'm excited to see this card being played. I, I think if this is the, the first thing that we're looking at for Demon Hunter, this is a good indication that we're going to um, see some really cool stuff for Demon Hunter, this expansion. Uh, next up, 4-mana, four 4-3, four, CCG. And the Death Rattlers get three random first edition Demon Hunter cards in mint condition. For those that weren't playing when Demon Hunter came out, Demon Hunter was released and it was broken beyond all repair. Um, it just dominated the mana for so much that, that they had to make major changes um, right away to these cards. And this is showing you how busted it could be. Um, first of all, let's go through. Let's look at the cosmetic. The cosmetic signature card is amazing. I want every single one of these, but I've already mentioned it before. And so this will give you three random first edition Demon Hunter cards in mint condition. And I love the way they threw that little reference in there, mint condition, because, you know, it's not been changed. It's not been nerfed. These are the first um, iterations of the card that were revealed. And here's the options we have. We have Altrius the Outcast, and we have uh, Metamorphosis before it was nerfed, and then we have Wargly of Azanoth. There's so many cool things here um, that we have to work with. Priestess of Fury, Imprisonantian, Antean? I don't know. Um, Skull of Gul'dan before it was nerfed. There's really, really cool things here. We even have Battlefiend. When was the last time you've seen Battlefiend to be played? Um, Eldrachi Warblades, that is what it is. Um, Twin Slice as well. This is cool. I'm excited to see uh, this being played. And like, look at that. Look at the signature card. This is amazing. Um, next up, five mana, six, five demon, and it's window shopper. It has miniature eyes, and the battle cry is discover a demon, set its stats and cost to this minion. So here's the mini version. It's just a one mana, one, one, but it has the same uh, battle cry, discover a demon, set its stats and cost to this minion. And you're going to be playing this because you want to do some of the busted stuff that some of these minions have. So lifesteal, then your turn, force all enemy minions to attack this. I have shadow, your hero has lifesteal. Look at this, Inquisitor. This would be a good idea. There's so many options here. I'm excited to see what happens for this card being played. Okay, uh, next up, red card, one mana, make a minion go dormant for two turns. So... The Magtheridon's in the board, and you're getting ready to have it pop off. You can make it go min uh, dormant again and let that uh, deal three damage to all enemies go through. Or you can make a dormant minion on the opponent's side. There's so many options. Excited. Uh, four mana fell spell. Workshop mishap. Deal five damage to a minion. Excess damage. Excess damages both neighbors. Outcast gain lifesteal. This is great. This is great getting some, you know, board clear maybe, getting some life steal. I like this one. It's going back to the outcast mechanic. I'm a fan. Uh, next up, two mana lesser opal spellstone. That's right. Um, Demon Hunter didn't have spellstones when they first came out. So yeah, this is draw one card, attack with your hero two times to upgrade. And then if you do that, it'll turn into a prettier colored one that draws two cards. And then if you do two more attacks, it will draw you three cards. I don't know. Um, 
in terms of what spell stones do, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Um, I know that card draw is a thing with Demon Hunter, but I don't know about this one. I don't know if this will be seeing play, but I could be completely wrong. Um, you know, we haven't seen any theory crafting yet. At least I haven't. Uh, we should hopefully see some theory crafting, you know, probably a couple days before the expansion. And I could be wrong on this. This is just my impressions, my first impressions, what have you. Uh, next up, Spirit of the Team. Two mana, zero, three, undead. It's stealth for one turn, and your hero has plus two attack on your turn. I like this. I, I don't know if it's zero, three, um, what it's going to do, but there's some potential options there so we'll see holding off hope that this would be cool um we'll see what happens next up and i mentioned in one of my videos recently that 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 we needed more quill bore and they definitely gave us a quill bore four mana three three quill bore ball hog and it's a life steal with battle cry and death rattle deal three damage to the lowest health enemy i like this card i think this card will work in different play patterns I think this one's really neat. You get that little life steal back, um, and it's six damage. So it's you know at the at the battle cry and the death rattle. So you've got six damage with life steal. I like that. I'm a fan. Uh, next up, three mana, three two weapon, umpire's grasp. The death rattle is draw a demon and reduce its cost two by two. So you'll make some demons a lot cheaper. So imagine this at six. Imagine this at five. There's 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 cool options here. I'm looking forward to all of these cards. Absolutely. Um, last up, and then we are done with Demon Hunter. Is a two mana blind box. Get two random demons. Outcast. Discover them instead. So let's pick what you get to get instead of having the randomness of this by just doing Outcast. Um, that's cool. Card pools are here, and obviously I haven't mentioned this throughout this video. Please go to Hearthpone to be able to see all these breakdowns. Um, good friend Imic helped put these together. Has some really cool ideas on how this will be set up. Um, I'm loving this new setup. It's very easy for me to do these videos, and I'm sure others are feeling the same way. Lots of card pool opportunities here that you'll be able to discover instead of just getting two random ones. I love it. I love it. You have multiple options. So, yeah, that's it. Loving the cards. I, I think that Demon Hunter really needs to go a little bit higher on the win weight Foon chain, and I'm excited to see it actually happen. Stay tuned for more. I'm doing every class reveal. Um, it's probably half of them are up already, and I will see you guys in the tavern, and thanks for watching.